The second and final individual time trial of the 2016 Tour de France is a rather hilly affair. Yes, the first four k's are flat, but then it goes uphill for a good seven or eight k's quite severely, as our very own Matt Stevens found out for himself. And it's pretty rolling all the way to the finish. And that leaves riders and teams in a little bit of a quandary. What equipment do they use in this kind of an individual test? Well, on the final rest day of the race, we thought we'd go and find out what a few of the top GC riders are going to use. Well, head mechanic at Team Sky, Gary Blem, literally just finished building this bike for Chris Froome a few moments ago. We're on the rest day as we film this. And we understand that this is the bike that he'll be using for that very hilly final time trial. So nothing really too out of the ordinary from his standard time trial bike. Now, Pinarello have updated their Bolide time trial bike for 2016 and there's a few redesigns. It's lighter, but of course it's more aerodynamic as well. Uh, this looks fairly unique at the back here doesn't it this is the cover of the rear caliper and this design apparently reduces the amount of turbulence where the air sometimes can get stuck here at the rear of the bike as it passes they've also redesigned the down tube and they've got a completely different bottle which is slightly narrower and smaller than a standard bottle and bottle cage and that fits nice and snug there on the down tube chris is still using those right, quite unique looking 3d printed bars up there at the front which perfectly match his arm shape and hand shape etc uh, with these wheels it comes in at just 7.3 kilograms now BMC have the luxury of two riders in the top 10 of the general classification, they being TJ Van Garderen and Richie Port. And this is the bike which the latter will be using in the final time trial. And as you can see, it's pretty much a general and normal road bike with some clip-on bars here at the front. Now there are a couple of changes that are going to be made before the time trial itself. The first is that one of the bottle cages will be removed. And the other one is that he won't be using these specific wheels. They'll be the same wheels, but with different tyres on. If I just grab it over here, he's actually going to be using these Continental Competition Pro Limited tubulars, but this is the ALX version, 25 millimetres. If you have a look here, in the centre, it's completely smooth rather than the grippy sides that we've got here and that are currently on the bike back here. But apart from that, to me, it looks like a pretty standard setup from a road bike. And this is TJ Van Garderen's bike for the final time trial, which, as you can see, is very similar to Rich's, albeit in a different frame size. So it's a standard Team Machine SLR01 frame set. They've got those shallow section C24 Dura A Shimano wheels. Once again, he will then have the slick Continental tubular tyres for the day itself. And they've just mounted some clip-on bars from 3T up there at the front. Now it's interesting how much of a contrast this is to what we've been told at least Chris Froome will be riding for the very same event, pretty much his full-on time trial bike. But I've just been speaking to physiologist at BMC, David Bailey. He's done an awful lot of modelling both on the computer, they've been into wind tunnels and they've been out on the road itself to test all the different equipment and this is what he thinks is going to be fastest for his boys on the day. Although I think they are still going to have their time trial bikes at very close hand just in case there's a final change of decision. Well, as you can see, we are now at Orica Bike Exchange, home to Adam Yates, who phenomenally is sitting third as we record this on the second rest day. Now, they claim that they don't know at all which bike he's going to use on the time trial. Either he's very relaxed or they want to keep it secret, but I guess we'll find out exactly what he's going to ride on the day itself. But if you just come down here past the hose, I actually wouldn't mind getting wet today because it's so blisteringly hot. But the person who sits just in front of him on the general classification is Balka Molima, and this is the bike that he is going to use. This is a really quite well converted road bike into what's sort of in the middle really between a time trial machine and a road bike. So this is a Monda team issue. As you can see, they've put the bar extensions on just as they had at BMC, but they've made a few more adjustments as well. So to start with, they've added some extra bar tape here for him to rest his bars, which is quite light. They've also put an aero bottle cage, which will of course have an aero bottle in it. And they've just kind of morphed his two positions. So it's not a full on time trial position in terms of where his saddle is and the length of the extensions, etc. 
but it's not his road position either from that point of view. Now he's got a lightweight disc here at the rear and the brand new Bontrager Aeolia 6 at the front, which is in between the 5 and the 7. We understand it's as light as the 5 and as aero as the 7. And the important thing about this bike is that it comes in at almost exactly 6.8 kilograms once they take this SRM off, which we understand they're going to do on the day. Now he's been training on this at home, so he's thoroughly done his homework this year, Balcom Molimer, and I think he's got a great chance of finishing on the podium. Along with Balka Mollema, we've also seen that Louis Mainkies of Lamp Primarida is also using a kind of hybrid bike, a road frames their aero one, combined with some time trial equipment to get him aero as well. However, like Adam Yates, both Alejandro Valverde and Nairo Quintana of Mobistar, who both sit, of course, in the top 10 overall on this final rest day, have yet to decide. In fact, they're not going to decide what bike they're going to use until the morning of the time trial, presumably looking at wind conditions, etc. So we appear to have quite a big variance in terms of what type of equipment the biggest riders and the riders at the top of the GC are going to use on that particular day. Now, if you would like to see Matt Stevens decide which type of equipment is, per is perfect for the course, and some of the teams here might want to watch that themselves, you can find that just up there. Or our entire Tour de France playlist is in the bottom corner there. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already, all you've got to do is click on the globe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's a little icon just down below.